Hey fam, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing well and in this video, I'm going to take you guys through along the journey of taking the perfect, perfect outfit pictures for Instagram. This is how I take my pictures for Instagram and I would love to document it and kind of show you guys how I take and also edit the pictures that I use for my Instagrams. But whenever it comes to taking pictures like this, I do only go alone and I kind of just tend to learn how to take pictures by myself and I kind of realize that there's a market for that i know if you guys don't have a lot of like people that you can count on or if you guys don't trust people taking your instagram photos i know i've been there at one point um it's always good to just go by yourself and that's why i'm making this video today just to show you guys my process and how i do it and kind of make it more efficient but yeah you don't need a lot to make this happen you need a good outfit uh your phone preferably and a tripod that you can like kick stand it up and kind of like have it facing you and that is like somewhat of like the same height as you but but among those things you're gonna need some apps that would mention later in the video so if you guys are interested keep watching because i'm gonna go really in depth with the technique that i like to use and how i'm gonna use it and i'm also gonna take you guys along to the journey so that's a lot of fun i do not want to delay this video on some intro let's get right into the video and this is how i take and edit my instagram photos So before I start showing you guys my tips and tricks, I would like to say that this video is in collaboration with a streetwear brand called The Futures on Mars or TFIOM. Uh, they sent me out two items right here and one of them is going to be our main focus for today. I want to make an outfit with it and I'm going to go out and take a picture specifically for that item. TFIOM or The Futures on Mars is a basketball streetwear slash culture luxury brand marketed towards streetwear consumers and athletic consumers who wants an elevated look from the regular sportwear clothing the brand's items have been seen on drake lebron james and various other basketball celebrities the futures on mars has a wide selection of multiple different pieces of clothing with vibrant and trendy color schemes and they were kind enough to send over two hoodies from their wide selection for me to check out and tell you guys about it the first hoodie is called the alien smile hoodie in this pink dust storm colorway i thought the color was really nice and since i wanted to experiment with more colors in my wardrobe this would be a great addition to my current hoodie rotation this hoodie has a slight oversizedness to it and being constructed with 80 percent cotton with a fleece lining inside they do feel really comfortable comparing them to other hoodies on the market the second hoodie is going to be the oversized red lunar hoodie which features a heavyweight base hoodie with a pigment dyed red color which makes the hoodie super quality and a great standout piece to start the conversation with this one is personally my favorite out of the two and will be the main piece that I would put on an outfit for and take pictures but that being said if you guys are interested in any of the pieces I showed here or if you guys want to explore more of their brand I will have a link down below with a discount code so that you guys can save a little bit of money whenever you guys are checking out make sure you guys are using the code Jacob 10 for an extra 10% off your entire order and finally thank you so much for the team at the futures on Mars for supporting and sponsoring this video so with that being said let's move right into the tips and I do have four main tips or four main bullet points that i do want to show you guys that i do for my instagram taking process and tip number one is going to be the location scouting whenever i say that i do mean whenever you're out just take a mental note of what places that you think would be a really nice backdrop for your outfits to stand out in i usually just go for somewhere super simple like a plain wall or somewhere with like more parallel lines just to give your outfits just like a more pleasing vibe and it doesn't like take off from the outfit at all and you can literally do this at any time i usually just stay in my car sometimes or whenever i'm at work whenever i drive home i would just take in a note of where i would like to take my pictures and to see if it work and my tip number two is going to be go with a friend or have a tripod in hand i usually go with a tripod because whenever it comes to people taking my photos i haven't found the right way to kind of explain how i want the photo yet having a tripod just let me just do everything my way and it just makes the whole process easier and whenever it comes to like shooting by myself it's easier to not get harassed by the cops for being trespassing or something it's just everything happens super fast so having a tripod just literally just makes you go in and out just like that but whenever you do have friends with you make sure you take a picture of them first and kind of like show them how you really want your um 
outfit pictures to kind of look at the end of the day kind of like give them a guideline to follow and that's going to be my best tip for that and whenever it comes to tips number three i'm going to list off some editing apps that i do actually use these are all the apps i use to kind of like edit my instagram pictures and all that stuff so let's get right into it first we have the adobe lightroom app of course you guys can use the computer if you guys do have like a mac or if you guys do have lightroom on your thing i feel like lightroom on the iphone though just makes everything super seamless like it's already on your iphone you can save it and then you can post it right away so lightroom is going to be majority of my editing like i usually just use a lot of like my lighting there next we do have pix art and that is for effects or if i want to duplicate myself if you guys want to see what i do on pix art i can make a separate video on that just let me know on the comments but but other than that pix art is where i usually add like effects and all that stuff on there so i can make the instagram photo kind of like more interesting and then next we do have some that i use but i don't use a lot like it's not something that i focus on it's going to be the snapseed app i usually use the snapseed app to just expand my my photo a little bit so i have more room so pretty much it's just for further adjustments and the last app i have is going to be the retouch app so the retouch app lets you delete specific items off of your pictures like say like there's a leaf or something i want to take it off a lot of apps do this nowadays but whenever i got the retouch app i did pay a little bit for it because that was like the first of its kind i use that mainly now because you know i pay for it and it works super nicely and finally for tips number four is going to be going out and taking the photo which i'm going to hop into my closet and i'm going to make an outfit real quick and then we're going to go out and kind of document this whole process for you guys let's jump right into the closet and you know let's take that picture all right guys so we're just literally going to make an outfit right now something super simple and super light but also at the same time super nice for the spring and kind of like moisty season that we're in right now because it's been raining the whole time so the hoodie that i mentioned that i'm going to be using is going to be the red lunar hoodie i think this is the oversized hoodie so let's we're gonna make an outfit through that all right so really like the fitment on this like it's something super nice and simple and then for the pants i do have this uh wide leg jeans right now i thought it would look really nice with the hoodie right here so we're gonna put a jacket over it this is gonna be a like puffer coat right here from H&M. I do want to get a wool coat soon. So I'm in the market for that. But for right now, we're going to use this puffer coat. It has like a really nice fitment to it. For the accessories, I'm going to put on this pretty minimal uh, Zara bag right here. Their box trunk bag. Literally like, I think like two years ago, I haven't been using it all that much. So I thought it would be a really nice occasion to just like kind of like bust it out again. And now we're going to complete it with the shoe, which is going to be these Balenciaga triple S in in the black and red colorway i usually don't like matching my sneakers with like my tops especially but whenever it comes to these like the bottom is just such a like small detail of red that i think it doesn't really matter too much and i actually prefer it that way so i thought it was a good, really good idea to pair them up with the balenciaga triple s so you arrived at your desired location you're going to want to set up the camera on a timer and start taking the picture as you normally would the app i use to take the picture is called lens buddy it makes it to where you don't have to run back and forth to click the shutter button but take numerous of pictures as the timer goes down it's super helpful for whenever you want to be fluid and fast so you can get it all done without complications i can go more into detail with other apps that i use to prepare to upload my instagram in another video so if you are interested please let me know in the comments so after you guys got all your pictures ready and you guys picked out all the ones that you want what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it on the lightroom app and i'm going to show you guys how i personally edit my photos so i have this one picture right here that i'm going to show you guys my editing process so what i do first is i go to my presets and i i hit a preset that i already made for myself back in the day that's what i usually do but today we're just pretty much gonna go through it raw so what i usually do is i'm gonna take the exposure down a little bit just for right now and then i'll just like tweak with it later on if i have something i want to change and then i will turn down the contrast just a bit as well turn down the shadow a lot and then i turn the white point up a little bit and then the black point down a bit and then we're gonna go to colors and colors is probably gonna be one of the most important thing that you guys want so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna turn down all the blues and then i am gonna go ahead and turn on the greens as well just to make sure nothing is popped and with that that's pretty good already but we're gonna want this like desaturated kind of look so i'm gonna i'm gonna turn on the yellow as well but i'm not gonna turn it down all the way as you guys can see we already have that kind of desaturated look i'm gonna turn up 
up the orange a little bit and then I'm gonna turn up the red a little bit just because I have a red hoodie on I kind of want it to be a little bit more vibrant and then I'm gonna turn down this saturation just a bit as you guys can see now we have something that is pretty similar for from what I am posting on Instagram we're gonna tweak it just a little bit more we're gonna go back to the light tab and we're gonna just we're gonna just mess around with the exposures and like the contrast and whatnot just makes it more defined tweak it around so it looks perfect and then one last thing I usually do whenever it comes to like editing on Lightroom is going to be uh, the sharpening. Put it up just a tad bit just to where I can like eyeball it and see that it's nice, nice and sharp so it doesn't look like it's like a grainy footage or like a blurry footage. But that is pretty much my editing process. If you guys want to know how I like edit effects onto that or if you guys want to know if uh, how I can like kind of cut off my head or whatnot, I can always make a video for that. So just let me know down below if you guys are interested on in seeing that. But yeah, with that being said, the editing is done. And what I usually do whenever I have multiple pictures, I want to like uh, edit. I don't want to do the same edit for every single one. So what I do is I go up to this three dot right here and then I click copy settings. Go ahead and press the check mark and then it is copied onto my clipboard. What I do is I'm gonna paste that onto other photos that I took that day. So so it makes my time of like tweaking it just goes down by a little bit. So that's what I did right here. Pretty much I did the copy and paste thing. It works pretty well in my opinion. And then just like that, you're done. Your pictures are ready to be posted. And another thing that I wanna touch up on is whenever you post them, I do tweak it a little bit on the, on the Instagram app. Just keep in mind, if you guys are happy with what you guys have right there that's all good you guys can always post it but if you guys want to tweak it a little bit that's completely fine as well I usually just turn up the sharpness on the Instagram app as well and like turn down the brightness so something like that you know just to fit my personal standards but with that being said that is going to lead us into the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed this journey today I really did had a lot of fun making this video today and thank you so much for the futures on Mars to sponsor this video and sending me these cool hoodies i really appreciate you for uh, supporting and um sponsoring this video and with that being said if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like down below and if you guys haven't yet subscribed and you like my content make this the video that makes you guys want to subscribe and finally if you guys haven't checked out my instagram yet you guys can see more photos like these on there so if you guys need fashion inspo or if you guys want to see what i'm doing behind the scenes check out my instagram it's like completely completely new setting over there you guys don't want to miss out on it and with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys now. Thank you so much once again. I'll see you guys. Peace out.